I can use against you to help me, yep. you know, pull you into things. Because I'm tense, I'm, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's what you'll feel. You'll, you'll feel, you'll feel me do, you know, different things at different times. Yeah. Um, and you, uh, other thing is if you're sparring with somebody for a little while, you don't want them to know what you're about to do either. <laughs> right. So it's always, you just kind of. So you're kind of soft. Yeah. If it's, you use your intuition. Yeah. To kind of feel what number one is what's the best way here and then number two you're also bouncing off based on what you feel their awareness is so are you giving them like a ping that hey, i'm going to give them a little test and see if they'll take the bait a little like as far as to be rigid because yes but at the same time <laughs> no it's a great question <laughs> yes i am but that ping is not a faint right that is real yeah that ping means I mean, that's my searching for the center. That's my um, asking of the question. So gotcha. yes, that's a ping. Yeah. But if they but give me is, absence or loss, then I just keep on going, going yeah, in, the right? The intention is the, is the goal, not to yes. fake, not to fake. But then if that doesn't work, then you choose something right. from there. Then if it is rigid and, and you feel it, yeah. you know, like if I'm here and you, you're coming on into me yeah. and you feel this, right. that's rigid. Yeah, you right. don't usually feel that type of energy from me. No. But you will feel it from all kinds of different people, right? So as you feel that, you can go around it yep. like you did. Yep. Um, you could, oh, there we go, and look, and it, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? it creates a... <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> and that's that rigidity within the body, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's why in Wing Chun, what we wanna try to do is we want to try to be stable in the core, the, the shoulders and the hip area, yep. even on out to being able to, you know, out to the elbows, stability in the elbows and stability in the knees. And then from there, it gets even more mobile from there. We want a lot of mobility and fluidness within our hands and our feet. So when this, so when we're doing an ask, right, this part of it is staying kind of just very receptive, but this part of it is, is staying. It is staying very, very stable, solid, stable, but yet directed. Yeah. Okay. Stable, rooted, but yet directed specifically so this, to your goal, yeah. which is my center. So this is always coming there. This may be kind of like feeling around. Absolutely. Opportunity. Okay. And it's very similar to the fencing foil. Yeah. Right? The handle here and then the end of it, the point here. You are literally feeling it. And then if it's this way, you can simply go around. Yeah. Which we call a jow sal, right? You yeah. just simply go right yeah. on around. You wouldn't mess around. Right. Now, depending on how much and where that pressure or rigidity is felt within you, the substantialness of it, then you can choose whether to... Uh, or depending on where the pressure is. Like, yes, right. if the pressure is here, yeah. but it's going right into your elbow, <laughs> yeah. that's different than if the pressure's here and yeah. it's not going into, right? right? It's swiping across you, that's very, very different. Yeah, because on that one, my... Which was this one? Or the first one, my instinct was to, yeah, something like that, yeah. Okay, yeah. yes, you did go with it, but I and collapsed. that's nice that yeah. you punched here, that's yeah. good, but yes, your structure collapsed, your immovable yeah. elbow, yeah. and you have to fight from behind your elbow. Right. So in this instance, you can't let this elbow collapse no matter what. So what I should have done is? Well, I wouldn't do that. What yeah. I would do is I would basically, it's a ton move, but it's yeah. a yielding effort. Oh. A yielding effort with your your um, your feet and your body, your, okay. your axis, because this is uh, not just disturbing the limb. Yeah, this is going into you feel it going yeah. into your core. Yeah. So since something is disturbing your core at that time, what I, you want to do? I change the line. You change the yeah. line now because yeah. you change the line, but yet you didn't collapse. Right. You yielded on your terms. Yeah. Not on my terms. My terms would be, oh, your elbow's coming right on in, yeah. right? So you go ahead and pivot, boom, now you stay here. Yeah. Now you feel the solidity of this elbow, bring it down a little bit. Now you can even lower yeah. just like that. <laughs> yeah, because right? yeah. Because you maintained this structure. Yeah, and you were going over here now. As the whole time. Here. Now I'm not going into you, Yeah. and you're not really pulling me into you. You're lowering me down and that uh this is called the mature pool uh, is a, a, what we call it right 
and it's not so much I'm pulling you in and punching, I'm, I have a fixed elbow, right? Yep. As you push, I have, a, I have a fixed elbow, and then from that spot, yeah. I can then <laughs> pull you without collapsing my elbow yeah, into it's, myself. It's, uh, yeah, this didn't move. How did that, now so you were here, and it just, it was just like that. You get used to, yeah. you, you develop independence of these limbs, and it's kind of what I was yeah. kind of talking about earlier with the softness and the mobility of the hands, yeah. soft hands. Yeah, there was no give just then. I felt like I was fighting a freaking well, if, rebar. <laughs> that's just it. If there is a give, then that's when you have a moment to come in. Yeah. And then I don't have structure during my movements. I don't, yeah. I'm not, I don't feel like that wall, yeah. right? And you want to always feel like, you know, the ground, the wall. You want to feel, you want to feel- Be the wall. You, you want to feel- <laughs> Be the wall. <laughs> you want to feel strong in that, right? So as I push on you, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but now you're disconnected from where are you connecting to? Into yourself, but you're also connecting to the ground. Right. So what you did, you just disconnected yourself yeah. from the ground. I lifted up. Somehow. So you've got to think of that going into the ground. Yeah. Okay, all right. But where is that oh, going now? Going back, it's yeah. not going into the ground. Right? The ground. What you got to do is you got to expand yourself from here and expand yourself down there into the ground and into me simultaneously. Expansion. And from that expansion, then you must receive my force okay. into you. Don't push it away and don't get mushy either, right? right no right. mush, no push, right? Yeah. You can see that other video. No mush, no push. <laughs> okay, here we go. Coming right on here, pushing. Yes. Yeah. Did you feel that difference? Yeah. You did not push back against it, and I didn't feel too much of no. a mush either. No, I tried to. Yes. Take so it. again, it was expand down into the ground, yeah. expand into me, yeah. and then you get a full expansion of yeah, it's like your vehicle. Yeah, yeah. Of the hose, mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. vehicle you're using, and a full expansion of it, and that then gives a pathway for you for the energy to travel down and you do want to receive that energy yeah as you receive that energy instead of pushing you away from yourself you then can use it against me yeah. there's no other you, you 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 can't really feel it otherwise if you push it away there yeah. shoulder down gotta be down though gotta be down now yes now from this point as soon as you start Riding that wave, yeah. now you can boom yeah. and push it into me at the end, yes. That gives a, a, a resting thing. Yeah. You push it in and this is, the, this is what I like to call the dog catcher. <laughs> it's, not, it's not just enough to have a leash yeah. on your dog, right? <laughs> what you also want to do is you want to have that long pole that the, yeah. um, the dog catcher <laughs> has so that when that mean dog tries to get it, <laughs> you have that, right? Yeah. So that's what I call the dog catcher, and that's the ma a mature type of pull. Should be, you know, down, but yeah, into distance. you, and then you push into me right now. Yeah, you can't. Not so you notice what happened is your elbow collapsed and not mine. Yep. Because of that. And so, in right there, if I would have tried to go ton, you had enough forward pressure too, so I wouldn't have been able. You would have come forward. Well, you've could... got to be able to keep and maintain your elbow position. Yeah. And if you can't keep and maintain that, then whatever technique yeah. you're trying to move to is irrelevant. So many people try to do all these dang yeah. techniques that look like this or look like that, but yeah, wait a second. Where's the structure in it? Right, because that's why it felt like you were not just one move ahead, you felt like you were two. Because if you can prevent my counter, then you're actually two moves ahead. So you, you prevent my initial attack and then my counter <laughs> right? I guess so. Well, I mean, I don't even think of it in those terms. No, but what I mean I is... I think of it much simpler yeah, than that. because the first one, when you got me here, right? Mm -hmm. So if your structure wasn't good, then... Okay, it's not good. And let's just say I could just collapse it, then I could just come in, right? Yeah. And I, but you had enough structure to where that wouldn't have been possible. And if I would have moved on it, you would have come in either and jammed it mm -hmm. and hit. Mm -hmm. Or if I would have tried to come around... You probably I'm would already have come, already you, yeah, in. Yeah, you would have hit again. So it's already like, in. That's what I mean by okay. I see. It yeah, be counter impossible. Yeah, you know, um, I do get these questions where people say, "What do you do with a one-two-three combo?" And I say, "I don't do anything. <laughs> I just handle <laughs> the one. <laughs> the two and What's three. What's a two and three? Don't matter. <laughs> that's right. They're getting hit on one. Yeah. Right. 
because we attack the attack. They're getting hit on one, so what? What's it? You That's know? right. Doesn't doesn't really matter. You're going for the ask toward the center. Mm -hmm. um, when you first start to feel that resistance, that's when. Yeah, you you, I you mean, know. Some people like to have it build and go from there. Yeah. But I don't want to let anything build. I want to be. I'm not really trying to set anybody up for anything. Yeah. It's 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 more in it's more. I, I guess for me, I consider it more honest. And yeah. what does that mean? I just, I honestly want to get to your center. So I'm not really right. trying to have it build. I'm honestly, you know, trying to figure out yeah. how I can get to your center in the, in these instances. Yep. And and so the other person is probably not when they're when you're starting to feel their resistance. They're probably not trying to faint you uh, in most cases because otherwise it's not going to feel like. It's not gonna feel like it's the same kind of. Once you have contact with someone, yeah. right? Once we have a tactile pressure with arms, um, anything they do is real. Yeah. It's not. There's no faking. Yeah. There's no. You. You can't lie, right? Right. So, a faint. You know, there's no such thing as a faint. Um, so they wouldn't. When you they have, wouldn't give you pressure and then try to. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're staying on your goal. Yeah. If you go and matter. think about what they're trying to do to you and get defensive minded, then it doesn't work. Correct. Right. But if you stay on your goal the whole time and, and don't go and chase these things, then it doesn't matter. Yeah. Right. That's it. That's yeah. It. You got it. You change yourself into the attack. Know your goal was one of the. Know your goal, <laughs> yes, is, is one of the things. So. Get more free how to videos at learnwingchun.com.